Kata. Um, Iris Versicolor, commonly known as Harlequin Blue. I didn't know you had a twin sister, Mr. Fry. Evie Fry, sir. It's a pleasure. Usually I would reciprocate the sentiment, Miss Fry, but today I'm afraid nothing will bring me pleasure. What's troubling you, sir? I am used to people challenging my ideas. In fact, I live for it, the cut and thrust of spirited debate. Lately, however, attacks against my reputation have taken a darker turn. Threats of violence against my person and against my colleagues. I do not wish anyone to be hurt because of my research. You helped me with Staric Syrup. I am in your debt. We help each other, sir. My brother and I will make sure that you can continue your work in peace. What do you know of bones? Only a few of their names learned from books. Hmm. Perhaps it would be simpler if I just explained this. Like finding a new... Oh, yes. Woman power. Woman power, too. Is that him? <laughs> yes. Of course. to ensure you reach him safely, with your cargo intact. Just act naturally. Some sort of... Thanks. Thanks. So, how is your father? 
By which I mean my dear brother Frank, with whom I grew up, of course. Oh, splendid! Wonderful to hear! I'll do my best not to call attention to how remiss he was in forgetting to warn me about the delicate situation which brings me here today. What's going on? Someone's up to no good. Keep looking! Curious. Wouldn't hurt to know what the bugger looks like. Darwin has sent me to ensure you reach him safely, with your cargo intact. Just that naturally. How am I going to find him? Stand back, Doctor! How is your father? By which I mean my dear brother Frank, this whom I join the Are you just going to leave me here? Right. So, how is your father? I mean, I mean, my dear brother Frank, this whom I grew up, of course. Oh, splendid! Wonderful to hear! I'll do my best not to call attention to our he was in the It is not safe to travel alone. Take me with you. Never a 
I should deliver this to Mr. Darwin. My heart hasn't stopped pounding. You have it? Wonderful. But where is Dr. Schwartz? I'm afraid he was intercepted, sir, in Germany. However, I have recovered the fossil. Dear Lord, I should tell you, I was recently approached by men who sought to purchase all my research on the condition I work only for them. Obviously, I refused. Scientific knowledge cannot be bought. It belongs to everyone. Let these villains do their worst. 